Welcome to another how-to video. My name is Ditec, CTO of DVS. Thanks to Seagate for the sponsorship. Now, I was supposed to do a really, really long, nice video today, but guess what? The equipment didn't turn up. I'm in a rush. I'm away all week, so I've got to go to SD19 in Manchester. So if you're in the area, pop in, say hello, and come and get a selfie with us, or Roy, um, you choose. Um, so today, I'm going to do a really, really quick video. After I say thank you so much for all your likes, subscribes, shares, comments, etc. Nothing but love on our channel, and we appreciate it, so thank you. It is now... Just gone five in the morning, so for those that don't think I work that hard, I work harder than most people. So, what I wanted to show you, quickly, was this new white light PTZ. So Hike Vision brought out a new positioning system, we've updated it, uh, I've got one fitted on the building. Now I was going to do a big video on this, um, I still will do a big video on this, but as you can see, it's light. White light and light don't really go that well, it's not really effective. So. If I just show you quickly, wait for it to turn on, you'll see there we go, so it's on. So that is the position system with white light on it. So when everyone parks up outside our building and does uh, their naughtiness at 12 o'clock at night, which they do, I get a lovely, lovely colourful image emailed to me so I can see who and what they're up to. Um, I'm happy to share them with you if you like. Hopefully it's none of you. Um, but yeah, so quickly, I'm going to jump back inside now before I head off on the road to Manchester. I'm going to show you how to download when you, if it's really important, especially if you're updating or changing a machine that's uh, maybe pre um, seeded a, an older machine. When you export the config file, there's two files. There's the IPC file and the actual bin file for the config. Can't do much about the config file, but the IPC file we can do a little bit about. If you've got a big system, and like say uh, multiple multiple cameras it's really easy to export the file open it in Excel and then change the model name to match the new one import it and it will save you a little bit of time so give me two seconds and we'll show you how to do that nice fun okay welcome back so we we're gonna web browse into one of the recorders on my network so I've chosen one gonna log in quickly it's a very simple process Okay, first thing is go into configuration. So we recommend taking a backup uh, periodically, service, routine service and maintenance visits, or if you're doing any major changes. So under maintenance, we have the uh, export device IP and I device IP and IoT parameters. I've done a separate video on IoT. We're just interested in these. So input the encryption password. So I'm just going to put 12345. So as long as the passwords match when you import it. Uh, here we're going to save it. Um, desktop. Come down to the bottom. Make a new file. And call it a demo MBR backup. Then open it, and this is the NVR. There we are. I typed the wrong password in. So that just goes to show, even on a live uh, recording, if you type the wrong password in, it doesn't work. Um, next thing to do is uh, back up the IP parameters one is the most important one so we'll call it IPC same one yep yeah. done so we can also back up the IoT parameters and put IoT in there done done so what you'll find now is if I close this and bring this file over uh, where are you so we'll bring that file over here, open the file up. So we've got three files in there. That file we can't open, that's the config file for the NVR. But the IPC file, if I open this,
what you'll see now is an Excel file of all the cameras that are added and you see there the NVR model number now if I was upgrading that to a 64 channel I could simply over type this and that's where that copy and paste comes in so if, whatever the model number is if you put that into there and then save it it will save it in the format that the new NVR is looking. So you've got all your cameras that are existing. Change that, save it, import it to the new NVR, and all that information will be in there. So it'll save you a lot of time and hassle. If you don't, especially if you don't know what the system um, looks like when you're doing a takeover or to a large system, and you don't really have the time or the will to go and note all that down. So it's a nice, easy way of importing it into a new NVR. Saving you a lot of time. It's one I certainly use a lot if I get involved in helping people update, upgrade, uh, replace MVRs. It's one of the first go to methods I use. Um, I'm sure you'll find it really easy. One thing to note on old firmware, we used to display the camera password in there. We don't display that in the latest firmware, that's why it's blank. So, what I would suggest doing, whatever the password is, so if you, once you log into the NVR on the local menu, go into the IP camera menu click show password, type the NVR admin password in there and it will display all of the passwords for the cameras. Now, if you're like me, they should all be the same. If they're not, make a note of those passwords, input them in here. So if it was A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, exclamation, for instance, that's not my password, but if it was, if I save that on all of those, save this file and then input that file back so what you do then is on the web browser go back to that where you've got um, the import config file if you go to browse and then select that file there and import it because the password saved in that Excel file it will add the cameras with the password and it will be connected so it will save you a lot of time if you don't do the password file it will add all of the cameras and then you'll manually then have to go to camera management click on modify and type the password of each camera in so that's a very quick and easy way of helping you do that um, the same with the if we look at the IOT file so again same with the IOT I've done a separate video on IOT if you change the password uh, the model number in there and then you put the password of the devices you're connecting to for the access control, intercom, GJD, Luminite. For note, if you're adding a GJD, Luminite, Optex device via IP, the actual allowed channel count is half of the NVR. So if I've got a 64 channel NVR, I can add 32 IoT channels. So they're half of the actual physical size of the unit. So hopefully you'll find this helpful. If you've got any questions, please ask. Like I said, I wanted to do a better video this week, but time is against me. The product didn't turn up, um, but this is really helpful, and I hope you'll agree. Keep liking, commenting, sharing. Thanks for all the love shown. See you next week for another how-to video. Take it easy and enjoy the week ahead. Thanks, guys.